Hello, happy Wine Wednesday and happy Halloween. I did not know that that tongue was going to come out of my mouth the whole time. Anyways, we'll get through this. I had to do something fun. It's Halloween. Um, today we are going to talk about light-bodied red wine. Now, a couple characteristics of light-bodied red wine are going to be that it's paler in color. And the tannins in the wine are actually going to match that pale in color. So they're going to be a little bit lighter. Um, and this plays into the delicate flavors that come with light-bodied red wine. You're going to have more red fruit, um, which is typical of a light-bodied wine, and uh, like a really bright acidity. And all of these things are going to make a light-bodied red wine super food-friendly. They actually play really well into food taste. Um... And again, a characteristic of light-bodied red wine holistically is that the grapes are generally grown in cooler climates. Two most popular grapes for light-bodied red wine are going to be Pinot Noir, which is grown in the U.S., France, Germany, Australia, and New Zealand, and then Gamay, which is grown in Canada, France. Switzerland and Turkey. And there is one I haven't had before, um, a Freza, which is an Italian wine. And that actually is going to be a little bit sparkling and sweet. So that's your basics of light bodied red wine. I hope you guys get some adult trick or treating in tonight. And happy Wine Wednesday.